Okay, what is up everybody? So today we're back again with another video and today we're actually going to be doing the Trophy Lodge quest, which I was nominated by Classical Gamer to uh, do this challenge or this quest. And basically for all of you that don't know, I'm going to be doing this as a little series and who don't know what this is. So basically I'm just going to read you guys the rules real quick. So you must do all reserves in order. So we're going to start with Hirschfeld today, Leighton Lakes next video, then Medved, then Verhunger, then Parquet, then Yukon, and then lastly Quattro Kalinas. I have to claim at least one of every animal in each reserve, but I may want to claim a male and a female of each bird species. Then each room must have its own room in one of the trophy lodges. And for the kill to count, I have to show it in one of the videos that I do. So basically what I'm going to be trying to do is go through and do each map separately. So as a separate video, so I'm going to start with, well, obviously I have to start with Hirschfeld. So Hirschfeld is going to be basically like episode one, then episode two is going to be um, Leighton Lakes and so on and so forth. Just in that kind of order, unless we kind of struggle on a map, then it might become like a two parter. But I'm going to be starting off with Red Deer, um, Fallow Deer, I think, and hopefully Roe Deer. And then as the day progresses, I just kind of have to hope that I can get pigs and foxes, because those, I think, are going to be the hardest ones to get on Hirschfelden, just because I actually never hunt them, because I don't really need them in my lodge. But without further ado, I'm going to be waiting here at my Red Deer spot, hoping I can find a Red Deer. I do kind of want to try and get a male and a female possibly, but I don't know yet because I haven't decided on how I'm going to do it in the actual lodge yet. But I'm going to wait here, go ahead and search a little bit around for some red deer and then I'll be right back. Okay, well we actually have our first animal here. I wasn't actually coming here for bison, but I mean, if he's just going to be standing there and giving me a decent shot. I mean, why not take that with the 338? Hopefully that was a good shot. Not too sure, but yeah, he seems to be dying, so... We got our European bison out of the way, and at least, I mean, he's at level 1. Like most bison that I find, at least on here. I mean, I have very bad luck with bison. Like, I mean, all of my bison, they're usually always, like, level 1 or level 2. But usually level 1. And if they go up to level 4, well... Then they're usually very low scoring as well, like just barely making gold. I haven't even seen a diamond potential bison on any of my maps. But without further ado, we actually got our first trophy here, our nice European bison. Let's look what he scores. He's a silver, almost got the heart on that shot too, but let's taxtermize him and continue hunting. Okay, so I actually just scratched the idea of trying to go for a red deer because, well, my ca I kind of over hunted them at the two drink zones or three drink zones that I usually go to, and I'm just gonna wait until they feed because I know that in those herds my respawns respawns should have happened by now, as it's been uh, quite a few in-game days since I killed all the males in those herds. But while we wait. For their feeding zone to start i am actually just gonna go try and get roe deer fallow deer and hopefully pigs out of the way because they are feeding right now and i know that in these back fields they are plentiful however the wind is really not in my favor right now so i'm gonna maybe have to go for a bit of a long shot here or just hope that they don't smell me within like 200 300 meters it's strange because well it's really oh what's there okay we're not going for that that's 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 a very very small uh fallow deer so i'm not gonna go for him because i do think that if we're doing a challenge like this we should get at least some of the animals at a decent size and not like with tiny racks on them Okay, so I just found some pigs back there, and I am definitely not going to say no to a pig, just because I know there are quite a few fallow deer and other deer around here, but 
my god, these pigs, I just, and I just messed that shot up really badly. Okay, at least I got that one. Oh, second shot was good, but I have no idea where pigs are on this map. Like, I legit do not hunt pigs in this game. Like, the only pigs that I have in, like, any of my lodges is, like, a red brown warthog and my diamond warthog that i got like a week ago two weeks ago something like that like that's the only like pigs that i have in any of my lodges but i guess we're gonna add another one to the collect so here is the pig let's collect him well wild boar but oof skull jaw first hit and then what did we get the second time? I, okay, so that's my dropped. But, either way. Actually, I think we should go for something. Nah. It's a wild boar. I mean, we're not going to get anything crazy out of a wild boar either way. So, taxidermize that. Oh, and there we already have a nice level 2 roe deer with a fallow deer apparently calling, but let's get that roe deer up there. Uh, about 180 out, so let's get our 2 to 3 out here. Aim in, and let's hopefully get a good shot in. Don't know if that was good. I think that should be a vital organ hit, but I'm not sure. So, here is our road here. I don't think he's going to be too big, but... Yeah, just the silver, but he has decent horns, so... We are going to take him for the lodge, but... The reason I was starting just now with the wild boar is because... I kind of don't want to just have, like, a ordinary wild boar or like a, a messed up wild boar somewhere in this challenge just because I feel like it would be a bit boring of me just hunting the first animal I always find that's why I also kind of passed on that first fallow deer I saw just because I want to try and keep this a little bit more interesting in the hopes of maybe finding a high gold or like a rare or something like that so I might actually get a second wild boar depending on how well the sun goes and how long all the other animals take but for now, let me actually continue to search for a nice fallow deer and a red fox. Okay, so we're back again. I took a quick break from where we left off last time. And so what we need still to complete this challenge is a red fox, a nice fallow deer, a red deer, and a goose. All animals, which we should be able to get. I am probably going to be struggling most with getting a red fox but like i said hopefully we just can cross one at our path somewhere but not too sure about that either way i'm gonna start looking around here a little bit more and go to some of the drink locations and hopefully try and get a fallow deer out of the way okay so i actually just spotted a red fox in the distance and a red fox like i was saying before is one of those animals that I don't hunt just because they don't really interest me that much. So I have like zero need zones on my map for them and we need one for this challenge so let me just try and kind of get him on the trot there. And I do believe we hit him, I'm not too sure though. But either way, we may have found the animal that I would be struggling most with on this map. But, let's just have a look what we got. So right over here is our red fox. And let's just pick him up. I know we didn't hit a vital organ hit. We were so close to it though. But, like I promised, I am still going to get an actual animal. That is going to score over gold for this video. Because I don't want this to be like only low level animals. But a fox is my most hated animal probably to hunt with the lynx across all maps but we got one so now let's try and find a pretty nice fallow buck and then all we need is a red deer and a canada goose and those are pretty easy to find 
But let's look what we can find with the Falvey right over here. Okay, so I just came to one of my favorite fallow deer spots right down here and there seems to be a pretty nice level 4 year who will definitely score gold and who I really want to get out of the way just in terms of respawns as well so let's just take that shot right there and he should not be going far yeah that was a pretty nice long hit I think I aimed a little bit too far to the right and maybe a bit too high for the hard shot but Either way, I know that 30 out 6 will get them down either way, even if it's just a liver or a long shot. But at least I'm happy that we got the gold for this challenge. And all we really now need is the easy animals, the ones that fly over you and the other ones that I have a ton of zones on here while I was trying to get myself that diamond legacy rack. But maybe, who knows, maybe I can get something nice as well from the Red Deer or the Canada Geese because I do still need the diamond for the Canada Geese. And here is our Fallow Deer. Let's look at what he scores. He scores a nice 204 gold. Still needed quite a bit to make diamond, but either way, this guy looks very nice and has a very nice rack on him. So, let's texturize him and hope we get a nice respawn. So while I'm actually waiting for Red Deer feed time to start, I just decided to hop in here into my little geese setup and I've been sitting here for I think a minute, maximum two, and well we've got our first flock coming in right here and right now, so let's look if we have anything decent in here at all. So we got a nice level three, another level three, it's just another three as well. Just a two, just a three female. So these should all be coming in. I do only have the 22 LR pistol with me right now because, uh, well, the shotgun didn't fit in my loadout and I didn't really want to change my whole lot of loadout just for this quick geese hunt. So this was the easiest thing to do and it has enough power to take them down. So it's not like I'm compensating here with them not getting them, but let me try and get one of those level 3s if I can spot one. And I'm just gonna guess that one of them down there is a level 3. So let's just look what that distance would be. Unless that one back there maybe 3. Yeah, that's a 3 female, so. And about at 50 meters out, so. I mean, why not go for that? Did I hit it? Please tell me I hit that. There we go. Let's try and get another one down. And I cannot spot anymore. This is the only thing of this. There we go. We got two of them down. So if we're lucky and we got a male and a female, I can actually taxonize the both of them and put them in the lodge. But, well, this is just a female. We're not going to take her because I think having a level 3 is just going to be a little bit nicer. So let's look where she actually fell down. It should be oh, right back there. So I think after this we only have one animal to go. And just a silver, sadly. It was, ah, it was still quite a good way away, but... And I just did not save that harvest. Well, I'm going to really jump in the trophy lodge and actually save that. And then I'm going to be right back once we actually have our red deer. Okay, so actually right back there, we have our final animal of this hunt. It is a level 6 male red deer. And I am just going to try and scoot in to 150 meters. Because I don't want to mess up the shot. Just in case he makes gold. I don't think he will. But... I mean, right now, with the scoring system being a little bit messed up, um, you're not always guaranteed that it's not going to be a gold, or that it is going to be a gold, so if we could have a second gold of this hunt, it would be nice, plus I don't want to really track him for too long, but I feel like this should be close enough, so let's get out our 30 odd 6, and just a nice shot right in the lung, hopefully. I hope I didn't mess it up because I might have aimed a little bit too low. 
But I guess we'll see in just a second what we actually got. Okay, so here is our red deer. And I messed up the shot and I'm curious why I messed it up or where I messed it up. I aim too high, okay. So I aim too high, he would have been a silver either way, I think he was close. He was still 18 points away from being a gold. Either way, we have our last animal of this hunt. So now let's just travel into our trophy lodge and place the final animal into the first room of the Sethia lodge. I already put in all the other animals and I think I have an idea of how I'm going to do the setup with all the different reserves on one lodge. So as you guys can see, I'm going to do something with the entrance. I'm going to put something cool that we might find in the hunts in between. But I've decided to take this kind of room as our first room for Hirschfeld at least. And so let's just put our red deer right down there. And so here are all the animals that are on Hirschfeld. So we have the first animal we got, which is the European bison. And then I think we got the roe deer next, which was just a silver. And then we got the wild boar, which we messed up, which I think would have been a bronze either way. Uh, and just if you're curious this was just silver as well i think it was then we have our silver canada goose our gold level four fallow deer which is actually not that big considering all things like he's still missing around 47 points to be diamond either way it is a gold and lastly the thing we just shot which is our messed up red deer i actually messed up two animals in this hunt overall i think this went pretty well this was about two hours two and a half hours for the first part if anyone was curious then just to let you guys know in this part over here i might probably do Leighton lake or something that has like a lot of animals that i can put on like these kinds of like full body plaques then back there in that room i might do either Verhunga or Yukon I think or maybe Parquet actually this room back here not too sure what I'm going to do the other ones but I think we're going to have enough room to do this and yeah that's going to be it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it smash the like button hope you guys like this series subscribe if you're new and of course comment down below what you guys think of this challenge and yeah have a good day bye bye and peace